Hello, my beautiful. Oh shit. Sorry, one second, guys. Okay. Hello, my beautiful lions and lionesses, and welcome to your love reading. So, today we're going to be seeing how someone is feeling about you, how they're viewing you, and what they want to say to you that they're currently not saying. Um, thank you to all the star and the tower. Okay, could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Maybe somebody wants to restore something or they've had an epiphany. Okay, um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, which agenda, switch the roles, do what you got to do and leave the rest. Okay, if you'd like to book a personal or information on how to do so, it's in the description box below. So my beautiful, my beautiful Leos, the overall energy we have is every part of you is pulling me. So don't pull away. On the bottom of the deck, however, we have no, I am not interested, please stop calling me, okay? Um, and then underneath that we have, I am not your ex, please trust me. And then we have, please say yes, okay? So there's a lot of pleases. So, um, because I know I kept reshuffling for you guys because the energy just was just repeating itself. But the divine was like, no, I said what I said. I feel like someone feels like you are not interested in them, okay? Because this is how someone's feeling about you. Somebody is basically saying to you, like, listen, don't pull away from me. Like, don't let this connection go. Don't let me go. Um, now, I was going to say for some of you, you may not be interested. This could be two scenarios. It's either you're no longer interested in someone anymore because maybe you're just fed up with them. Or you're interested in someone and you're saying that you're not you're no to someone else. So somebody could be trying to get your attention, but you're focused on this one person. OK, well, this could be this other person. They're not interested in anyone else. It's like I'm focused on the Leo and I'm trying to get that Leo and I don't want that Leo to pull away from me. And, you know, all the outside energies is a no from me because this would class as the outside energy. But I do feel like someone feels like you're not interested in them and they're they're trying to say, like, listen, I'm not like your ex. I'm not this person. I'm not that person. Like, please just trust me. OK, so, yeah, someone is, is just they just feel like they've kind of lost their chance with you or something like that. OK, maybe someone feels like they're not good enough for you. Or they're out of your league or you're not their type or something like that. Let's just see where this goes. This is for my beautiful um, Leo's. Oh, OK, pleasure. Okay, and 32 flavors. Oh, what's going on? There's a lot of lick lick here. Okay, lick lick lick. <laughs> um, I'm hearing that song. Is it ludicrous? I want to lick, lick you from your head to your toes, and I want to move down to the bed, down 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 to the floor, and I want to uh, uh, to make it so good you don't want to leave. Dirty boss, are you dealing with the Taurus? Honestly, well, let's just move on. Um, I'm guessing with this because you know this card can talk about spontaneity. Whenever I see this, I think about like a sweet or a kind gesture. Like it reminds me of like the Six of Cups. But we got ice creams here, so I feel like somebody wants to melt your ice because you're very fiery, Leo. Okay, so maybe somebody feels like you're very hot to handle, or they're trying to think about a way to cool you down or to cool a situation down. Okay, I feel like you get someone hot, you get someone kind of like um flustered. Okay, somebody also likes your hair as well. I'm getting somebody just wants to pull your hair. Just want to pull you. Just be like, listen, Leo, just come here. Yeah, literally. Because it says every part of you is pulling me, so don't pull away. So someone's like, listen, you better just... Okay, oh, so something's in my eye. One second, guys. I hate when that happens. Someone's like, um, listen, I don't know where you're going, but you best not be going too far. <laughs> okay, and because, you know, it's her hair. Our hair is represents our antennas, so... Someone's kind of just like trying to make sure that you stay on their brain. It's like, listen, Leo, mm -mm. somebody also is trying to think about a way to please you. Okay. Because like I said, someone feels like you're not interested in them or you're not interested in them anymore. So someone's thinking, okay, well, how can I pique Leo's interest? Like, how can I pull them back in? Okay. So they may want to please you in all types of ways. I also feel like when someone looks at you, this is what they think. They think like, listen, I just want to taste leo i feel like you just you look sweet you look like a snack like a sweet treat but i'm getting somebody wants to treat you they want to please you leo it's like don't be telling me you're not interested like that's no nah, leo's because mm -mm. you could just be like no i'm just not interested in you not anymore anyway goodbye and good day and someone's like listen stop acting like you don't be trying to play hard to get leo that's like it says, every part of you is pulling me. Don't pull away. So someone's like, listen, you're trying to act like you're not interested. You're trying to act like you don't care. But I feel the pull. 
Okay, so <laughs> um, who did I get that with? They're trying to act like they don't care, but they do. I think it was Pisces. I can't remember. You can look through the titles, guys. Okay, so um, how is this person viewing you? Okay, so we have karmic cycles and then we have a date night. Yeah, I feel like something keeps going around and around and around in circles with this person. So like I said, for some of you, I feel like someone feels like you're not interested anymore because you just kind of feel like they're just a karmic lesson that has been learned several times. But I feel like somebody um, feels like you are their cycle. I feel like someone feels like you have a karmic connection to them because karmic doesn't mean bad. It's just a consequence of something that you have done or something that you have asked for so i feel like somebody feels like you're almost um because i mentioned the rings of saturn in um gemini's reading i feel like you are intertwined with someone or something is like eternal it just keeps going round and round so i feel like maybe somebody's trying to figure you out but i feel like somebody views you as karma itself that's how they think about you or someone is is trying to go over something. Somebody is trying to think about why do I keep going around in circles or why do I keep like what's really going on with this situation? So maybe somebody um realizes who you are to them. Okay, or you're teaching someone a lesson. Okay, well, this is my two of cups cups card with the date night. So I feel like somebody wants to date you or they feel like you're their two of cups, but maybe somebody has to like I feel like somebody views you as a lesson. Okay, so what do they want to say to you? Yeah, confusion. Like, like I said, someone's trying to figure something out. So somebody wants to talk to you about something that they are confused about. Or maybe that they was confused. Or like I said, someone, you could also be giving someone mixed signals as well. Or maybe somebody was giving you mixed signals and they know that and now they're, they're trying to figure out, okay, well, you know, what do I do? Or they want to say, you know what, I was confused. I didn't know what was happening. Don't pull away. Because like I said, someone doesn't know what's going on. They feel like you're not interested in them. Or if you're playing hard to get, someone's like, if you like me, why do you keep acting like you don't? Okay, yeah, focus is at the bottom of the deck. Because it's almost like someone goes around in circles with you, but this person is focused on you. Like I said, somebody's very sexually attracted to you as well. You know, he's just looking at her, you know, we, we can't even see what's going on here, but we can see everything what's going on here. Okay. So someone is, is like I said, they want to know how to please you. Maybe somebody was focused on the sexual part or the superficial side of something, but somebody wants to talk about, I feel like somebody wants to tell you why they're confusing. Okay. Because this is what they want to say to you that they're not saying. They were either confused or they know that they're very much like, no, I'm not interested. No, but yes, I am. No, I'm not. So this could be this person. Maybe they feel um, a bit like Jekyll and Hyde. Like they've got two different sides or they go back and forth with their feelings. So somebody wants to discuss this confusion that they keep bringing to you. Okay. This is what they want to say. Okay. So is this the psychopath? <laughs> That you were dealing with because i think in your general reading it was like someone has dangerous mood swings so you may want to watch that if you haven't watched that already so this could be this person okay right so this is for my beautiful leos how's this person feeling about you because i feel like someone's like feeling for you here okay yeah look the phone call and the dress up which says role play role play kinks and quirks fantasies communication facetime and we need to talk so somebody wants to speak to you. Maybe when someone sees you on FaceTime, they get really like aroused. Okay. I feel like someone just, you're like somebody's guilty pleasure, but they do feel high, think highly of you with the Royals. But I just want one card, please. And too many cards come out. It's just too much energy. Okay. So we have the Mr. and Mrs. It says commitment, life partner, and promises. You could be dealing with um a Gemini they got something about that so somebody feels like you are their life partner or they want to make a promise to you or they want to commit to you okay this is how they feel somebody feels like you are hubby or wifey material okay they want to please you in every single way for like the rest of your life is what i'm hearing okay so i'm hearing i, I want you to be my mister will you be my missus okay so how do they view you what are they thinking about can we just have one card 
This is what I'm saying. Somebody wants to text you. We have the aphrodisiac. It says dinner date, home cooked meals, and at your service. Yeah, somebody wants to serve you. The soulmate is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is what this person is realizing that they have to be of service to you. That's like their karmic debt to serve you, to please you. Or maybe you're supposed to please each other, or you just turn this person on. Okay. Now, with the aphrodisiac, the issue with that type of energy that you have you know because if we look at these cards everything is about taste 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 sexual 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 desire the problem with this type of energy is that sometimes you could be objectified okay so i feel like it's almost like someone views you as food like they view you as like an object because you know when you eat food it digests and then you just poop it out so it's almost like someone like views you as something that they can once they devour you they can kind of throw you away and then come back to you and then did it do you know what i mean I just, I just feel like someone's desire for you takes over and it's almost like it creates some kind of like beast or monster if you will but this is you know because the soulmate says perfect match true love and lesson slash blessing so that's what i said i feel like someone views you as a lesson but a blessing all in one but they want to taste you they want to be of service to you like, literally, like, serve you for the rest of your life. I feel like you, that's someone's karmic debt. Or this is what somebody wants to prove to you. It's like, you know, can you just trust me? Okay, I feel like I hope I'm making sense because I just, I just feel like this person doesn't make any sense. Okay. Okay, let's just see where this goes. So what do they want to say to you? So we have um the sweet dreams. It says visions, daydreams, and fantasizing. So, yeah, so this is what they want to say to you, okay? Because I feel like you're thinking about each other. You know, when you go to sleep, you think about this person, they think about you, okay? So maybe somebody was confused about, you know, how you view them or their future. Or somebody could have been scrambling with their, like, psyche. But somebody, you know, they want to create some kind of vision. Because I feel like, like I said, something was clouded here, literally. So somebody kind of just wants to set the record straight, they want to tell you what vision they have for you in the future, okay? Or they want to, like I said, they want to explain as to why that they were confused. That maybe they wasn't seeing something with the vision and the confusion, okay? At the bottom of the deck, yeah, we have the truth. Definitely could be dealing with the Gemini. It says facts, confessions, and no BS. Exactly. So somebody wants to tell you the truth or they want to confess to something. Because like I said, I feel like something is like a loop here. It keeps going round and around in circles, back and forth, you know, the push and pull, runner and chaser type thing. I feel like you're not about that life, okay? So somebody, you're just like, if you come correct or don't come at all, so somebody wants to come to you with the truth, okay? But yeah, underneath that, the um, it says, the love at first sight, instant attraction, enamored and fireworks. This is what I'm getting, yeah, and the incubus and the succubus. I just feel like you just, when someone looks at you, it's just like, ah, like someone is just completely enamored with you, but they're confusing you know i don't know but like i said i feel like you're just you're like you're not interested in talking to someone unless they tell you the truth or they're honest or they just cut the bullshit like cut the bs bruh honestly okay but i feel like someone is learning their lesson so let's just see how's this person feeling about you my beautiful leos wow the lovers inseparable a divine match, a divine counterpart, something that, a divine match, a divine counterpart. We have the divine feminine at the bottom of the deck. Today, I am on a roll, okay? I'm on a roll. I'm always on a roll. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> sorry, guys. But yeah, divine feminine, a divine match, someone that the divine picked, again, could be dealing with a Gemini or a Libra or a Taurus or possibly a Virgo. Who am I reading for? A Leo. I'm reading for Leos. So somebody thinks that you are divine, you know, you're out of this world, you're beautiful, you're confident, you're creative, you're abundant, you're successful, you're just gorgeous, but they love you. They feel like there's nobody else for them but you. I'm hearing like you're the only one for me. And again, like this is a very like sexy type of connection with the lovers. This is very passionate. Like you want to eat each other and roll around naked and you know what I mean? Like, you could just be sitting on the bus in public and you just start kissing each other and rubbing up on each other. It's like, I don't give a fuck who's watching. I love you and that is it and that is all. So somebody just... 
they have very deep emotions for you that cannot be severed is what i'm getting Woo! okay so what are they thinking about you the witch okay these cards just keep coming out yeah and the empress of passion there you are at the bottom of the deck someone thinks that you're so sexy you're so attractive this is what i'm getting i feel like it's your attractiveness okay yeah they love it they love you look at all your energy leo but with the witch here aries energy could be different than aries the magician um it's almost like someone just feels like they are completely and utterly enchanted by you Maybe they feel like you're doing work. Because like, I ain't doing no work on you, bitch. Okay? Because, you know, the Empress of Passion, that's the Empress of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Okay? Somebody also may be wanting to kind of, like, take some kind of action towards you. Or they're wondering what you're going to do next. Maybe somebody's learned their lesson when it comes to magic as well. But I feel like somebody views you as magical. Like an enchantress. That's what I'm getting. That's the word I was looking for. They think that you are an enchantress. Again, somebody who's very talented and very skilled. Naturally mystical. Naturally magical as well. Okay. And what do they want to say to you? That you are sexy as fuck. Period. Point blank. They're very passionate about you. They're very attractive. Like I said, there's something about you, Leos. Someone's just like, good God. Honestly, maybe your just energy is very confusing. They just don't know what to make of you. But somebody just let, let's, needs to let you know, like, listen, I'm all into you. I'm so, I feel like someone is so attracted to you. They just don't know what to do with themselves. Yeah, the moon, this is what they're hiding. So yeah, because this is the truth, which is confessions. And the moon talks about secrets. I feel like somebody's going to confess some type of secret to you or some type of deep emotion that they have for you. Could be dealing with a cancer. Something one's real deep here real deep honestly okay so let's just get some additional messages oh i'm starting to get um pins and needles guys one sec sorry Ugh, my bra keeps showing it's really annoying me honestly okay so this is for my beautiful leos i'm hearing like you're just pure magic Maybe as well someone feels like you're very magical and very skilled. So maybe they're just like kind of like afraid of you. I don't know. But I just. But we have um, I love you. Duh. So exactly. Someone's like, bitch, I love you. You know, this is why I act like this. Don't be trying to pull away from me. Don't act like you're not interested because you are. Okay. The feeling is mutual. And yeah, you're the best I've ever had. <laughs> well, I mean, I know that's right. On <laughs> honestly and so are we seeing each other again or yeah somebody wants to know that like, are we seeing each other definitely watch gemini's readings because you could be dealing with someone who's got gemini placements okay or you could okay but yeah somebody wants to know are they seeing you again but you are the best they have ever had okay and that is the that, that's their truth and they love you okay so could we just get some additional information for my beautiful leos can we have one card please I'm coming back to you soon, okay? So this is somebody who's returning to you. And yeah, it says time apart. But it was in the reverse, so I feel like there's not going to be time apart anymore. Yeah, reminiscing is in reverse. And then we have the um, Divine Feminine. So somebody doesn't want to keep reminiscing. They don't want to keep being away from you so that they have to keep, you know, pondering about shit that happened. It's like, fuck the reminiscing, fuck the thinking, fuck the time apart, Okay. Am I seeing you or not? Okay. Honestly. All right. So my beautiful Leos. Did I move the camera? Like what's really happening here? Okay. So my beautiful Leos. Okay. Oh, it's too many cards. One card, please. Oh my goodness. Too many cards. Honestly. People have a lot to say today. Okay, thank you. So we have birth. This is pregnancy, new projects, children, and new love. This is like my Empress card. Then we have Rebel at the bottom of the deck. It's a strong-willed protester, non-conformist, and opposition. Yeah. So I feel like it's almost like someone like treats you like they're your enemy or they're trying to fight against trying to fight against you or something like that. Yeah, this push and pull energy. It's like don't act like you're not interested, because underneath that we've got tradition. So yeah, and I feel like you're a very strong-willed person. But I do, I feel like someone makes you weak though, man. It's like anyone else I could just resist, but you, I just can't resist. <sighs> because like we said, the time apart was in the, in the reverse. It was like, I can't say no to you. 
God, okay? But somebody may want to put a baby in you as well, but somebody wants like a new beginning with you, okay? They also have to treat you with care and delicacy because, you know, she's pregnant. She has a little baby in there. Maybe somebody wants to have children with you. You could be dealing with someone who you have children with. But I just feel like somebody wants to give birth to something new with you, okay? It's like, stop fighting this. Let me just get one more card so we just don't have to have that at the bottom of the deck. I do everything. Unequal give and take, lazy mooching, disrespect and blame game. Yeah, I feel like somebody was maybe very disrespectful to you. That's why you're saying like, I'm not interested. So maybe somebody's realizing that about themselves. I feel like maybe you're in a connection that's very one-sided. Yeah, so this is why somebody is really wants to know how, like, how they can please you and how they can be of service to you. Because I feel like... You know, you're, someone's realizing that you're the one that keeps putting in all the work. You're the one that does all the romantic gestures. But you're the one that's not really receiving anything. Okay. And then it says groupie at the bottom of the deck. Shallow fan, obsession, stalking, and lust. So someone's definitely watching you. Lusting after you. That's what I'm saying. I feel like somebody lusts after you, Leo. Okay. I'm hearing like lusty busty. Okay. Busty lusty okay well that's all i have to say for that okay so if you like the reading let me know in the comment section give me a thumbs up okay but somebody is enamored with you and they want to confess something to you okay they want to put an end to some kind of confusing situation because quite frankly i think you're bored of it goodbye good day